Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Declan.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade iOS 15 back to iOS 14 without losing any data. So, let's have a look. Alright guys, so the number one step I want you to do is to go ahead and do a quick iCloud backup just in case you lose any of the data during the process. Although we're going to do an iTunes backup later on, but this is a good idea just in case something happens with your iTunes backup, it becomes corrupt. It's unlikely, but it could happen. So on your device, head over to settings, go to your iCloud ID, and then go to iCloud. Make sure everything's selected, including mail, depending on how much space you have available. Select iCloud backup on the top, and then tap on backup now. And this depends on how much data you have in your iCloud. This is gonna back up your settings, your photos, your data on your apps, depending on how much storage available you have. If you don't have enough space, then iCloud is going to try to back up as much as possible in the available space. Sometimes when we do a downgrade, some issues can occur, including with the settings or some stuff can be glitchy. So to avoid this, go back to your device, go back to settings, scroll down to general, and then scroll all the way down till you see reset iPhone. Tap on reset, and you'll see a drop down with multiple options. Tap on the very first option, which is reset all settings. And then confirm to reset all the settings. It's going to take some time and please avoid tapping on any other option if you don't know what they're doing, because you may end up deleting all of the data from your device, especially if you choose the reset all settings and content option. Once your device is on, we are ready to move on to the next step. So let's go on my computer and show you exactly what to do next. All right, so the number one step is to go on Finder or iTunes if you're using an older version of macOS and do a quick backup. So head into your iPhone and then tap on where it says backup now. And I always choose to do not encrypt the backup just in case something goes wrong and to simplify things. It's gonna take some time depending on how much data you have on your iPhone. Once that's done, head over to a website called ipsw.me. And this website simply contains every single iOS version released by Apple. And the reason why I like it is because everything is categorized by device, by model, and shows exactly which iOS version is available to downgrade. So because I have an iPhone, I'm gonna choose iPhone. And I have an iPhone XR, so I'm gonna choose an iPhone XR. But what if you own an iPhone X or an iPhone 8? As you can see, there are two versions. So if your iPhone is unlocked, then this is what you need to choose. Otherwise, the other version is gonna be suitable. We're gonna choose iPhone XR. And here, as you can see, these are all the iOS versions which are signed, which means that Apple is allowing you to restore your iPhone using one of these versions. Any, any versions which are red is not gonna work. So what you need to do is to select the iOS 14.8. That's the only one that was available from iOS 14, and then press on download. It's gonna take some time to download, depending on your internet connection. So it's a good time to go ahead and take a coffee before continuing. Okay, so once the download has been finished, let's go ahead and close the website, and then launch Finder or iTunes, depending on what macOS version you have. If you're on a macOS Big Shore or later, then you're gonna to go to Finder, you're gonna plug in your iPhone, and here in locations, you're gonna see your iPhone name. Choose it. So once you're ready and you have done the backup, then go on where it says restore iPhone. But if you're using a Mac, hold on the Alt key, or if you're a Windows user, hold on the Shift key on your keyboard and press on restore iPhone. And from here, go on where it says downloads on the right list, and then choose the firmware that we have just downloaded. Press open. This is a final message indicating that everything from your phone will be restored back to its factory settings. But we don't need to worry about it since we have done a backup. So we're gonna proceed by pressing on restore. And depending on your device, how many data you have, this is gonna take some time. So I'll be back as soon as this process is done.
All right, guys, so the iPhone has been restored. And as you can see, you're back on the welcome screen. This is pretty simple. It's exactly what you did as soon as you bought this iPhone. So no problems, just gonna follow the instructions. And we're gonna choose the language, choose the country of region. And enter a SIM card if you have one. And here, enter your Wi-Fi passcode. You're probably gonna say, why do we have to do all of this since we already have the backup? Well, in case you have done an iCloud backup, it's always helpful to set up your iCloud and restore everything with your iCloud first before we move on with iTunes. It's just a more convenient way of doing it. I'm gonna go and connect to the Wi-Fi first. All right, so next. And continue, set up later, set up your passcode. All right, so this is a crucial step and it's simply asking you whether you would like to restore any data on your phone. Now, if you have done the iCloud backups from the beginning of this video, then press on the first option. If not, press on the very last option. But if you have done the iCloud backup, then we're gonna go on the first option. So I can show you the process. Enter your iCloud password if needed. After that, agree with the terms and conditions. And here you will see all the available backups that we have done with iClouds. As you can see, my last backup was done three days ago, so I'm gonna choose the very first option. And then I'm gonna quickly move on with the steps. So I'm not gonna enable location services just yet. We're gonna set up my app pay later. And now the process of restoring iCloud has just begun. Now, depending on how much data you have backed up with iCloud, it's gonna take some time to do so. And now, depending on how many data you have backed up with iCloud, it's gonna take some time to finish. And once it's done, then you're ready to use your iPhone. And there we go. And now, all of your apps, data, photos will be automatically be downloaded from iCloud to your phone. So it's probably gonna take some time to finish up. So you can let your Wi-Fi on, leave your phone on the side and let it download everything for you. But if you haven't done an iCloud backup and you have done an iTunes backup, that's fine. Because right now we're gonna go back to my computer and show you how to restore your iTunes backup. All right, so here on my computer, we have some prompts. We're just gonna press on okay. And I'm gonna reconnect my iPhone because it has accidentally disconnected. Okay, and as you can see, it recognizes the iPhone. However, if you haven't done the iCloud backup, you're gonna be back on the, you're gonna have a different screen, a welcome screen. Um, and from there, you'll have some different options to deal with. Either set up the phone as new or to choose the second option, choose your latest backup and press on continue. Or if you come up with this screen, then just press on restore backup. Press on the drop down, and I have two options, but I'm gonna choose the latest one. I'm gonna press on restore. And by the way, as you can see here, we have iOS 14.8, which means that we are back on iOS 14.8 successfully. And here, in case you see this message right here, this is a common error. This is because the backup was made from iOS 15, and Apple has a small rule which doesn't let you to back up to an earlier version. That's a strategy for them to prevent you downgrading, right? But there's a small trick which I'm gonna show you on how to trick iTunes in order to let you restore your backup. So press on OK, and then just click on your desktop and head on to Go, and go where it says Go to Folder. And from here, copy paste this path that I have down in the description and then press go. And this is where it's gonna take you. Press on backup, which is where you have all the backups made by iTunes. This is the latest one, so we're gonna double click on it. Go all the way down and go on where it says info.placed. And in case you're getting this error, then go to Launchpad, go to other, and then choose terminal. And here, just copy paste this command, which you will find down in the description. Press enter, and then quick terminal, and then 
double click on info.plist again. And from here, what we need is to find where it says product version. And as you can see, it says 15.0. So this means that this backup is only available for iOS 15 or above. So we need to change this. We need to make it to say 14.0. So to do that, just double click on it and then type 14.0. Press enter. And then close this window. And then go back to your iPhone by going to locations and try to restore backup again. Press restore. And now your iPhone will be restored again, but with all of your data. So again, this is gonna take some time. So I'm gonna speed up until we reach to the welcome screen. All right guys, so as you can see, we're back on the hello screen and there are a few steps that we have to go ahead and do. So let's grab the device and see what we can do. Press on continue. Enter your Apple ID passcode. Set up later, continue, and then welcome to iPhone. So as you can see, all of our data are here. And just to confirm that we're back on iOS 14.8, you can go to settings, go to general, go to about, and you'll see that we're on iOS 14.8. That was everything you had to do. There's nothing else you need to do. You may need to wait until some apps are, are fully downloaded. And after that, you're good to go. And that was everything I wanted to show you for this video, guys. And please keep this in mind that this method is only going to work after the iOS 15 has been released by Apple. So around beginning of October, this method will no longer work. So please make sure to decide quickly whether you want to follow this method or not, because at some point it will no longer work. And if you like this video guys, please make sure to hit the thumbs up in order to support this channel further. And if you have any questions, don't forget to drop them down in the comment section and I'm gonna go and reply as soon as possible. And if your friends are also considering to downgrade, this is a great chance to share this video to them so they can successfully go back to iOS 14 without losing any of their data. And the most important thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to get notified and be one of the first people to watch our latest videos. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, I'm gonna see you in my next video.